Hello and welcome to this week's AMA video. Now I've had quite a lot of questions about websites so I thought today I would kind of focus the AMA all on websites um, and answer a few of those questions together. So the first question that I had was just around terminology really and understanding all the kind of bits that people talk about when they talk about websites um, and the second bit is whether it's worth kind of do it, doing it yourself or whether it's worth kind of getting somebody else to do it for you that kind of question uh, so I will share my experiences with you and then you can uh, make your own choice from there so uh, the first bit is around um, a little bit of, of um, the terminology so really a website comes in is three parts is your domain name your hosting and your website builder um, and those three things can come from the same people or they can come from different people um, and I'll explain kind of a little bit the pros and cons so the domain name is the www you know your business.co.uk that's the domain name so that is you're purchasing that URL so that then when somebody types it in then uh, it will be yours the hosting part is the space or uh, so your website has to has to be held somewhere on the internet so the internet is is space ultimately um, now hosting is really interesting because some some of them when you do like um, some of the kind of Wix and things like that they have hosting included so effectively you're paying for for the builder but you're also paying for the hosting um which kind of tells you what the builder is so the builder is the actual platform that you kind of build your website so where you come up with you know what it looks like so um a lot of the kind of wix uh, squarespace weebly those kind of you know drag and drop small business options have the builder and the hosting included now, in some ways, that's a good thing because it means that for you, uh, it's really easy. You don't have to kind of, you know, get into that side of things. But there's a downside to that in the fact that in order to make it easy, they almost look after the hosting for you. Uh, and there's quite a lot of opportunities with hosting to uh, improve some of the ways in which your website appears on the Internet. Um, and what I found, I started for many years using Weebly and what I found was the minute that I wanted to start driving traffic to my website and the minute I started wanting to look at um, search engine optimization um, and get traffic, people it showing up on the internet and getting traffic, I couldn't have access to a lot of the settings um, because the hosting was with Weebly and they set up all of that. So downsides and plus sides really. Um, so, so where you get each of those things from is completely up to you. Now, I have three different things. Um, I use GoDaddy for my domain names, and the reason for that is because I originally used those when I set it up. So it just makes sense that when I launched Build It Brilliant that I have my domain names in the same place, um, just for ease of, of my brain. Um, the second hosting, I pay um, a company called SiteGround uh, for hosting um, because they give you uh, things like uh, unlimited email addresses and uh, you can play around with all of the different settings and it's completely uh, free for me to, 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 to do all of the things that I want to do. So I use SiteGround. And then I use, I use WordPress as my builder, which you can see here on the screen. Um, so I use three different ones. Um, how you set it up is completely your choice. Um, which companies you go through to for each thing is your choice. Um, and I would recommend you have a look out there at what you get on kind of, you know, different options so that you can then make sure that you're getting those three things. A domain name and the hosting and the website that you want uh, with the, the settings that you want. Now, in terms of the second question about whether it's worth doing it yourself or whether it's worth getting somebody in, uh, my two websites, so my, my Refresh Minds and my Build It Brilliant, I did it myself. Um, 
So I'll show you how I did that. Um, not all of it, but kind of just some resources and whether it's worth doing. So I used this particular video on YouTube. I'll put a link to it in my uh, in the comments and also in the email. Um, how to make a WordPress website uh, in 24 easy steps. Tyler goes through it bit by bit. Um, I found this really, really helpful. And then I could kind of pause it and stop it and do uh, the WordPress bit on the back end. Now that's only good if you're using a WordPress website. Um, so in terms of time, how long did it take me? So um, it probably took me two dedicated days uh, and then almost kind of the rest of the week titivating and playing around um, to set up my Build It Brilliant website. Uh, what I would say about that is I already had the copy. So I already had the, the, the sentences, if you like, the structure of what I wanted the homepage to look like, what I wanted on each of the pages. It was just a case of how do I actually build the website. So it took me two full days and then, you know, hours each day kind of just playing around titivating and sorting it out and um, what I would say is is I do enjoy it I am a geek as you know um, so to me it's not something that I find frustrating um, it's something that I kind of like the challenge of doing and I uh, you know don't know how you feel there's other people that I know who've got some a friend's person uh, particularly young people who who uh, are kind of interested and can build it for you it can be really cheap um in terms of getting someone to do it for you it ranges completely in price um there's such a huge uh, market out there the questions that i would advise is around if they're going to build it for you what do you have control of at the end of that because so many people have paid somebody to build them a website but then realised that every time they want to edit the homepage, for example, they have to pay that company to edit it. So ask the question, once they've finished the design, what is it that you have control of and what is it that they have control of? If they say, oh, the hosting's included, what, what does that mean? in terms of what they would actually do. So does that mean that they will do some work um, on your SEO over time uh, each month or something like that? Or does it literally mean that they've gone to somewhere like Wix, for example, and literally just bought their hosting? So you need to be careful that you ask the right questions if you're gonna get someone else to do it. The joy of getting someone else to do it is you can literally write your copy and then say, here, do this, make it, make it look like this. Um, the downsides to that, I think, is is the element of control, is the fact that you 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 don't, sometimes somebody builds something, it comes back and it's not quite how you wanted it to be, um, or they kind of rope you into a certain package, which means then further down the line it costs you more in the end. So it's completely up to you. Uh, you can do it yourself. Uh, you can follow uh, videos and do it yourself. Um, but like I said, it just depends how much time you got and uh, whether you'd enjoy that challenge or whether you'd get frustrated by what you're, you're doing. Um, and have a look at what you want to set up. Uh, domain name, hosting and builder. Those are the things that you need. I hope that's helped and given you some ideas to get you started. Um, as always, uh, with the AMAs, please do send me your questions. I, I love reading them and uh, each week then I will um, obviously come back and do another video every Friday and answer them for you. I'm here to help. Uh, that's it for this week. I will see you next week and uh, hope you have a lovely weekend.